Understanding the phrase, bonking. Hello language enthusiasts! Today, we're going to explore an interesting English slang term, bonking. By the end of this video, you'll know what it means, how to use it in sentences, and some of its cultural nuances. Bonking, as a verb primarily means to hit or strike something or someone. It often implies a light or playful action. For example, I bonked my head on the low ceiling. She playfully bonked him on the head with a pillow. In some contexts, especially in British English slang, bonking is an informal and somewhat cheeky way to refer to sexual intercourse. However, it's essential to use it cautiously, as it may not be appropriate for all situations or audiences. For example, the neighbors were bonking loudly last night. He joked about them bonking in the closet during the party. In the world of endurance sports, particularly running and cycling, bonking refers to hitting a wall in terms of energy. It's that sudden feeling of fatigue and loss of energy. For instance, I was doing great during the marathon, but at the 20th mile, I bonked and couldn't go on. To prevent bonking, it's essential to hydrate and fuel during long rides. Depending on the context, here's how you can use bonking in your conversations. 1. Describing a light hit. She bonked the toy against the table, making a funny noise. 2. In a cheeky or playful tone, do you think those two are bonking? They seem very close lately. 3. Talking about sports fatigue. I need to carry more energy gels during my rides. I keep bonking around the 50 kilometers mark. Bonking is a versatile word in the English language with a few different meanings. Whether you're talking about playful hits, making cheeky comments, or discussing endurance sports, it's essential to understand its context to use it correctly. We hope this explainer was enlightening. Keep learning, and until next time, happy language exploring.